Today I'll be showing you this drawing I created on a black paper. The paper is Canson Me Tempest. Um, it's a pastel paper and I used the back side of the paper as it is a lot smoother. I've used a white polychromos and some white pan pastel as well as a Molotov paint pen. And without further ado, let's get to it! <laughs> So, as I mentioned, the paper I'm drawing on is the Canson Me Tendus. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, it's commonly known as a pastel paper and comes in a huge variety of colors. Um, but I'm using the black one and I'm actually using the back side of the paper. I haven't actually tried the paper itself for pastels, so I'm not really sure if it's any good. Uh, I may have to try that in the future, but the back side is really really great for colored pencils and it's it's the best black paper I have found. In general I can struggle a bit with finding tinted uh, papers that work, work great for colored pencils. I have the Strathmore Toned Tan and Toned Grey which I love and I also have the Stonehenge Legion. Um, but it only comes in a variety of very natural, warm colors and not darker colors like this one. Um, they have a lot of different colors as I said, but I only have tried, I have only tried <laughs> the black one. So one of the really cool things I think about drawing on black paper is that you can create some really dramatic um, pieces that has a lot of contrast and you know it's really really dark and really large and has these amazing highlights and you can actually use the paper to to make it work for you as here I have a lot of dark areas but I only have to draw in the light areas um, so I'm actually letting the paper do a lot of work for me now, when you're drawing on black paper like I'm here, you have to sort of reverse your mind. Usually we draw on white paper and we build up our shapes and, and our drawings from darker areas. But when you're drawing on a white paper, instead you're pointing out your highlights and you're actually drawing the highlights and not the shaded areas at all. And also there aren't a whole lot of mid-tones either. You have your very light areas and your very dark areas, um, mostly, and then very few mid-tones. So that can be kind of tricky, um, and you have to, to sort of adjust your thinking to that instead of actually wanting to shade things in. It may be a given, but when you're drawing on black paper with white, Choosing a reference photo can be a bit tricky. You have to go for a picture with quite high contrast and, and a sharp light source. The reference picture I'm using is a picture I found on Pixabay and I will leave a link to it down below. So if you want to draw it yourself, you can go and download it there. Getting my sketch onto the black paper was a bit tricky. What I did was I sketched the tiger on a separate paper and then I took the white pan pastel and then I just coated the entire back side of that paper. Uh, just like using a transfer paper and then I put it on top and using a dotting tool I outlined the sketch. This is something you can also do with graphite if you don't have any transfer paper. It's, it's a cheap way to transfer your sketches onto your drawing paper. I always transfer, transfer my sketches. I never sketch on the paper I'm drawing on itself because I erase a lot and that can ruin the texture of the paper so I can't get enough layers on it. So I always sketch on a separate piece of paper. Most of the time I actually just use some printer paper or cheap paper like that and then transfer it once I'm done. Drawing water is something that can scare a lot of people because it's it's very abstract and you know a lot of different weird shapes. Um, but I feel like it's not that difficult again. You just have to keep in mind that your line should be 
horizontal and following each other it's not going to to go into all kinds of random directions and here the water was disrupted by the tiger swimming so there was a lot of small dots i added in to create the effect of moving water adding the pastel was really really wonderful on this paper it's so soft here on the back side and has basically no texture so it just glided over and created these very even lay downs and one of the great things with pan pastels is that if you only tap just a bit in the pan you can actually create these mid-tone grays on the black paper but if you take a lot of the pan pastel you can create some very very wide areas so that was working just wonderfully Using a Molotov paint pen, I added in a lot of small dots that was supposed to resembling water in the fur of the tiger and on the whiskers. I think that turned out so well and really tied the tiger in with the water itself. And then using a paintbrush, I dabbed that into some of the excess paint from the paint pen and then just slightly glided over some of the very wide areas to create some fur highlights. And that's it! I really had fun with this drawing and I hope you liked the video. And I guess I'll see you next time. Bye!